Work, be dedicated, and have patience, man. Cause not everything gonna happen overnight. You gotta stay grounded. You stay, you gotta stick to them laws, bro. Because I recommend y'all read like the 48 Laws of Power because it's a cheat code to life, bro. What's going on, everybody, man? Let's be too real. Come back with another video, man. I got my boy with me. What's um, good? Let's enjoy more. But um, today we're gonna be going over the. 48 Laws of Power. It's a book called The 48 Laws of Power, and we be going from Law 3 and 4. Um, the reason why we're going to be going Law 3 and 4 because those are the two laws that really spoke out to me and that really, like, opened my eyes in life. And that's something that we could use today in our our financial, our, our everyday life, bro, how to move, and basically not to fall in a pit that, you, that could be avoidable, you feel me? It's like it. a lot of stuff could be avoidable if you get, just listen and read about it and um, learn from other people's mistakes. That's the best thing you do. It says that a man, a smart man learns from his mistake, but a wise man learns from others' mistakes. So you, it's very important to learn from other mistakes, guys. So law number three, it says that conceal your intentions, bro. I cannot st stress this enough, guys. Y'all gotta conceal your intention. Not every, everybody doesn't have to hear what you got going on. Everybody don't got to hear your family issues. Everybody don't got to hear your uh, personal issues, your business issues and stuff like that. The reason why I say this is because you can be a form of an enemy. You could be a form of an uh, opposition. So people that's against you, they don't want to see one. Now you got to understand, not everybody want to see you win. Even they did like how they did Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus for money. So people, when they start seeing you leveling up, once they start seeing you open your eyes, you doing, you change it for the better, People are gonna be like, damn, this man think that he, he better than us, or he think that he he can't stand with us and everything like that. Like, I think Snoop Dogg said some real stuff. He was like, if we all at the bottom and I'm rising to the top, you can you, you like you don't wanna rise with me. Like mm -hmm. I'm rising to the top, y'all here, y'all think y'all better. I cannot depend on y'all or I can't wait for y'all again because we all gonna be stuck down here. One of us have to get out the bottom. You feel me? Everybody gotta get out. Well, everybody, everybody intention is not to get out because not everybody built to get out from the bottom or not everybody built to, you feel me? Like live a, um, outside the matrix life. Like live outside, like living to their purpose. People scared of living to their purpose every single day. So if you trying to elevate to the next level, bro, and the people on the bottom, want to stay there and stuff you gotta you just gotta keep going and don't ever make people make you feel bad for changing for the better don't ever make people feel make you feel bad because you elevating or you doing better things or you you grounded for better you feel me exactly. so that's that's one thing that um you got to do it because um and then the conceal your intentions is don't basically a lot of people like to um Exploit their next move, bro. You cannot exploit the next move if it's not a God intent for you to tell everybody your next move. For that, keep it between your God and, and let the as a spirit lead, like let the um the fruits harvest and don't don't let people like uh, you feel me. Don't say oh I'm about to harvest over now. Just let it see. Let it come natural. Don't just let people see it. You feel me? And you don't gotta tell everybody your next move. You don't gotta tell everybody what's going on and everything like that. So that's very important because you never know what the future holds. The, the future could turn um, 360 in a minute. We living in a world that's changing every day, guys. Um, technology is taking over, bro. Artificial intelligence, AI, all this stuff. People are making millions off of AIs and stuff like that just by doing every stuff. And they're not telling you that. So it's, uh, it's very imperative, it's very important. Like You got to keep certain stuff um, concealed. You got to conceal your attention. Like, let's say um, he's my enemy. We we both we both um playing. Okay, let's say um, uh, me and me and him, we opposite um teams. We playing basketball, playing opposite teams, and we in overtime. The score is 100 100, and we got the next move, so we got caught timeout and everything like that. Our next game play on and on our board, we I cannot tell. He can't let he can't know my next move because he's my um opposition. Mm -hmm. I gotta win against him against the game because we played in the game of basketball. That's right. And everything that um the most high I might have in store for you and everything like that, everything that um my coach is telling me and the next move and stuff like that, I cannot exploit that to him because he's my opposition. Mm -hmm. And why I say this? Because a lot of people that's walking today and a lot of people you got in your circles is not really there for you. 
and that's they're not really um they're they don't really have good intentions for you mm -hmm. they're not really there to support you and be on your side they're just there for the benefit and when things go left they're not there no more so watch what you tell people and watch what you you feel me like put out into the universe and certain stuff don't gotta be out there what's understood don't gotta be explained so keep certain stuff to yourself and you should be good from there and what's what needs to be out there it will out there so don't force nothing don't feel like you gotta rush things and stuff like that take your time and for financial stage too don't tell people how much you um your next business move or your next um influencing move and stuff like that just let it happen so they can be in shock and awe because let them let the people consume and stuff like that what you're doing so certain stuff just keep it concealed and everything like that all right so the next law is law number four it says always say less than necessary bro this one i can vouch for it uh, always say less than necessary but do not tell everybody more than what needs to be said like if you could you could be telling a, a person that you, you're cool with but they're not but they're cool with somebody that you're not so they could be running to the person that you not cool with and stuff like that. So just a quick scenario. Like, don't tell people where you going. Let's say I've just done talking to one of the middle friends between us opposition. And I tell her, okay, I'm going to this, I'm going to this um, party right quick or something like that. He could inform that next person where I'm going to be at and everything like that. And I could mess it up. We could get into altercation virtually and that could lead to a feud and everything like that. You know, that's how a lot of people be getting lined up. So it's very important what you um, say and always say less than necessary. Like your next business move, say, okay, I'm about to make a big move, leave it at it. Don't give, go into detail. Don't say, oh, I'm about to um, partner with this person or I'm about to do this or I'm about to uh, launch this um, product or I'm about to launch this affiliate mark. I'm about to uh, make this trademark, all that stuff. Don't, you, you don't gotta say, always say less than necessary. Because like I said, from the law number three, you never know what the future could hold for you. So always just stay working, stay stay, um, stay um, patient, stay content in a good way, not in the content to stay the same, but stay content as a patient and working on your way every day to where you're trying to go. And how this could um, apply, bro, we live in 2023, you guys. You guys really got to um, know what y'all putting out there and certain stuff to keep to yourself. Like, we you live in a time you better you gotta hustle you gotta find something to increase your income and everything like that and find a hustle and everything like that you don't gotta tell everybody but make it between you and the most high like you gotta know like okay i'm about to do this now i'm about to start investing and we live in a time where you got to invest because we living in an in inflation time we live in where things going up prices go up you gotta hustle you gotta find a way to elevate your um self financially not only financially but mentally um physically and keeping yourself right and healthy and everything like that and a quick like quick tips and stuff like that with um the thing do a lot of research we live in a time where the internet money is being made on the internet every single day as we speak right now people are making internet that's why i hop into the internet wave because i can make money from my laptop you know i could do like transaction business e-commerce on my laptop so it's not it's not nothing um complicated and everything like that it's nothing complicated bro all you just you, all you just gotta do have put the time in work be dedicated and have patience man because not everything gonna happen overnight you gotta stay grounded you, st you gotta stick to them laws bro because i recommend y'all read like the 40 laws of power because it's a cheat code to life bro it's real life cheat code to how to get from the next level to the, how to manipulate people how to ma make people manipulate you so that's just a cheat code life and that's just how do you feel me level up because if you're not growing what you're doing bro like you gotta grow every day. You gotta grow in all um, sorts of aspect and form. So you, you, your goal is to always like basically grow one percent every day. If you grow one percent every day, in the next two three years, bro, you could be a beast. You could be you could be like, dang, I remember I, used to, I, I was a my mind was this. I was a little brain person. I was a, a small minded person. Now I'm a you feel me? I, I'm thinking elite. I'm having high level conversations. And that's where you want to go and that's where you want to navigate your way to man that's an everyday thing you should be doing 
So yeah, man. Any thoughts on that too? Because I know you used to um you you had leveled up your way of um how you make um like your income and everything like that and not just making the like fast pace and everything like that because I know like gambling and everything like that, it's a fast paced thing. People like they see this, they 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 want this one thing, they can win again and again and again you start mm -hmm. it, it became you'll never be satisfied with gambling and all that money and stuff like that. So right. don't chase money, chase your purpose. That's what that's what I stand on too. You gotta chase purpose, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely true. Like, like, like about the gambling, said. you could talk about. It. Yeah, yeah, about the gambling. Um, yeah, I used to gamble every weekend, um, blowing my check after check. And at one point, I made a lot of money. Yeah. And then, like you say, I wasn't ever satisfied. I wasn't ever content. So it's imp important that we be thankful and content in what we have, and save and invest is one of the keys to save and invest because there was a saying that say always save for a rainy season a rainy day yeah you never know when that rainy day will come you, yeah you never know when that rainy day will come so uh that's a good tip is just to save and to invest and to always plan for the future um and be thankful and content and uh, got to, bro. that's what i wanted to say yeah Definitely, man. I'm telling you, bro. You got testimony after testimony. Like you got like from all that stuff. You know, I know the the scamming wave and the gambling and the Bonarva, the game betting and stuff like that. The sports betting, all that stuff. That's that's you gotta know how to be content because a lot of people is not content with it and stuff like that. And that goes for everything. It's not only for that. You gotta be content of how you live because people be overkilling themselves, working, working, working for stuff like that. For something that you gotta go back to because that money is gonna. You you obviously working for, for that money for something. And once that gone, you gonna have to go back. So always be content. You know, always don't don't kill yourself. Always work at a steady pace like yourself. And always conceal your intentions. Law number three. And always say less than necessary. But yeah, that'll conclude the video today, man. If y'all like it, y'all um, share this video, man. Share it to um, people that you think that could help or somebody that's struggling with um, finding their stuff and um, with their financial life and like growing and stuff like that. Share with them. Uh, like y'all, like and subscribe, bro. And we'll be back with more videos, man. Yes, sir. That's right.